Hello everybody, this is Peter at Bobcat Cam UK and uh, what I wanted to do to uh, show you how to make a drawing in Bobcat using the 3D model, you can see on the screen I've got the 3D model and uh, if I just go into a CAD view you can see um, dimensions and sections and uh, if I go into file, uh, print preview you can see there's the print preview of what would uh, print um, using this drawing. So what I want to do is show you how I created this drawing uh, using Bobcad, using this existing model uh, and I'll just take you through the stages of how I created it. As you can see on the screen I've got myself a, a model and uh, what I'd like to do is produce a, a drawing using that model within uh, Bobcad so the first thing I need to do, I've got the modeling, I need to mer merge in the template. So back into CAD view, file, this time I'm going to use merge. Uh, if I just go into my computer, onto my Bobcad and drawing templates and you can see I've got all different drawing templates. I'll use the A2, open and there you see on the screen um, I've got the drawing and I've got the model there. Um, what I want to do also is I'm going to turn off these uh, the crosshairs. Um, it's pointless having them on while we do what we're doing. Um, we're just going to leave it at the datum there. So if we go into preferences, uh, we'll do it against the part and we'll turn off the axis. And you can see we're just left with um, the drawing and the model. So the first thing I want to do is I actually want to place this somewhere on the drawing. So to make to make it easier, all I'm going to do is just move this template every time we do something. We'll do it with the template. We'll leave the model where it is. Um, we'll just move this um, drawing. So what I want to do is I just want to move it, translate it, and put it in position to put this in position for a plan view. So what I'll go do is going to I'm going to translate uh, let's have a look we'll do drag and what I'll do then is I'll select by colors so select pick by colors select OK press spacebar to finish it now what I get get now is I get this option now to drag this drawing anywhere the template you can see it give a blue outline. Now you might say I want that position to be there. If I select OK and cancel, you can see now you put that in that position. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to actually get the drawing, the uh, the plan view of that component. So if I go back into a CAD view, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into extract, extract from a solid, I'm going to project the Z0 and uh, all I need to do is come and highlight the model left click it spacebar and press OK and then cancel so what I'll do now is if I go into there now and blank blank the model right click and select OK there you see I've created the drawing for the plan view so we go back to a plan view zoom into the area and what we can do now is we can start putting dimensions. So dimension, I use other distance. Some people use vertical and horizontal. You can use that as well. So you can see you put your dimensions in and the dimensions from there to there. Uh, if you don't want the tabs on there, uh, the uh, the um, tolerances, turn them both off. And dimension, other distance, which is still active from there to there and from here to here cancel then I might say dimension radiuses might put radiuses on might put the radius of one of the corners there see what it is so you can see you can start adding your drawing towards making your drawing so just view all 
cancel. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unblank the model, select it, okay, and the model's back there now. So all I need to do now is move this template down so I can get a section view through here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to translate, <coughs> excuse me, translate, uh, I'm going to move it 80 milli. And all I need to do then is select by colours, pick by colours, because that's the drawing colour. Press OK. OK. You can see it's moving up, but I want to go the other way. So we'll say minus 80. Select OK. And again. And again. So basically I'm just moving the drawing. I'm going to move it another one as well and cancel. So basically, I've moved the template, but everything's in line with it. Um, if I just view all, you can see now I've moved the template down. I know where this is, so I can rotate it wherever I need to be. So if we spin it round, we've still got the model. So what I'd like to do is rotate the model uh, 90 degrees. So I'm going to go into rotate. I'm going to go in the x-axis, minus 90. And... Uh, Rotate around the centre. Yeah, that's okay. I like the model. Left click, right click. It gives me a preview. Select OK. Cancel. And if we go back into a CAD view, you can see I've got the model. And I've got its position. All in line. Everything's in line with it. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to um, take a section. Let's say I know the position or I need to find the position. Uh, between this end and, uh, and this arc center then we know how much we've got to move it well it is 60 so let's just put a a point uh, on the arc center we click on here you can see I've got a point there cancel and then what I could do dimension vertical between that line and this outside contour shape and you can see it's 60 milli it's also, I need to take a distance from here and to this line and you'll see, whoops, cancel. We're doing it the other way then, dimension, horizontal between that point and this end and you can see that is 60 milli. So it's 60 milli one way, 60 milli another way. Cancel. So basically all I need to do is um, move this up 60 milli because I know that's where my split line is or my split for the shape so if I just move the model so if we go into translate uh, we're going to go 0 and in Z we're going to go positive 60 I'm happy with that select the model right click select OK and then press OK you can see it's gone up 60 milli now Inside of Bobcad, version 27, we have a, a section view where we can take a section view, which is this icon here. So I'm going to take a section view, and you can see now it's split the model. Now you could, in theory, sp split the model at any position, because you can move this up the model or down the model. So you can set it a position wherever you want it to be. But I want it to be on the center line. So I'm going to put that back to zero. And what I want to do is generate a wireframe of that section. And select cancel. Now you can see now it's created a wireframe. So if I just blank the model for a minute. So if we're going to model, blank it, right click, select OK, cancel. Let's go into a CAD view. You can see we've taken a section. Now, of course, that's got to be uh, cross-hatched. So what we can do in Bobcad is we can go into Dimensions, Cross-Hatching. I'm going to check your spacing and your angle and your patterns. I'm going to pick Shift, that geometry, and Shift, that geometry. Right-click, select OK, press Cancel. And you can see now you've taken a section through there of 
of um, a distance in of 60 milli and you can actually um, go in here and you can just draw some lines and then create them as, as a section view of where you've done it so you can go in here now and start dimensioning these so if you go into dimension uh, of course I'm using other distance as usual some of them use different ones so I actually want to size from there to there I might want the size of the slot itself so then I might go from there to there which is a 4 milli slot so I put that in this 4 milli and I might want a distance from the end of there to the end of there and you can see it's 4 milli deep uh, might go for the the width of that pocket at that intersection which is 80 milli and I also need to know what depth it is say this time I'll use dimension vertical from this top line to this bottom line and you can see you've got a distance for the depth of the pocket and also while we're at it we might as well go into dimension radius and find out what that radius is on that corner it's a one miller radius so you can see now if I just uh, cancel what I'm doing there view all you can see now I made a side section of that intersection there so what we need to do is draw this section um, where we're going to come you come down 60 that way we're going to do across this way now so what we can do is you can go into model unblank select it right click select ok and you can see you've got the model back in its position so what I want to do now is I need to uh, put that back down so I'm going to uh, translate that so we're going to go down minus 60 select it left click right click select ok and you can see we've got it back in its position so what we need to do now is we need to turn it over um, and we need to do um, a view on the side coming down so what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this model so let's go into uh, sorry let's go into rotate let's rotate it around the y-axis 90 yep highlight it right click it select ok now is that where we want it yep select ok and cancel so we have it we have it in that position so if we just move it over 150 so if we go into here and translate we'll put nothing in there and we'll do 150 I like this right click select ok select ok I want to put in minus 150 and select ok ok now what we can do is if we just go to a CAD view on the drawing we can position this let's say that we want it in that position there cancel so all we need to do now is lift that up um, 60 milli and we'll do the section on that one so into translation nothing we're going to come up Z positive 60 highlight it right click select OK select OK and cancel then if we go into section you can see we've got the section view of that model I'm going to generate a wireframe and cancel so if I blank the model out blank you can see that gives me the section view on the side so all I need to do then is um, we need to uh, sorry we need to cross hatch it so if I shift left click shift left click right click select ok 
Council and then just go into a straightforward CAD view you can see now you've got that view and that view all we need to do now is bring the model back here put the dimensions in on this one so if we go into model on blank so we've got that sectional view off there I actually can delete this model and bring in um, an, the model again so if I uh, select it so I'm going to select pick it put it in the bin delete it you can see that's your view so all I really want to do is I'm going to go file merge and bring in the open and you can see I brought that back in again so all I need to do then is move the outline of um, this shape so all I'm going to do then is go and move I'm going to drag and I'm going to select by colors everything that color which is my drawing right click and select OK then all I need to do is I can move this wherever I want but I'll move it into that position there say about there and select OK and cancel and let's view all so all I need to do is tilt and rotate this model a little bit so if I go into uh, rotate I'm going to go in and go into uh, 300 say 15 and say 15 and pick this model right click select OK and you can see I've tilted it a little bit now I can if I want to just move it slightly in a bit so I've just undone it once and then what I can do is just move it across a little bit so if I go into uh, drag pick it right click select OK I can drag it from that position move it set to it there and select OK and cancel so you can see now if I just go into a straightforward CAD view I've got this CAD view um, this is showing the 3D model I could extract everything if I wanted to off this model where it's laid at the moment I could spin it further around or whatever it is so if I go into extract from a solid project up to Z right click and select OK and cancel I could actually go in and blank that blank blank the model right click and select OK and you can see now you've got a 3D image of where that is is an isometric drawing or you could just leave the model on if I go into unblank select the model right click select OK <clears throat> I could undo the extraction if I wanted to um, if I just undo it once there you go and what you could have then is you could have the model you could have a, a picture of the model as well in your drawing so if I go file going to uh, print preview you can see now that's um, how it would print out on your printer with a model and your sectional views whatever it you need hopefully that helps you get started and uh, thank you for watching